This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Today we're dealing with a Bosch dishwasher that isn't cleaning well. The water is not getting hot and it's not even opening or uh, melting the soap. So it's due to not enough water entering the dishwasher. The water should reach up to maybe about halfway up on this filter handle and the water is not even reaching the filter handle at all. So the inlet valve might be clogged and we're going to take a look. So I've removed the um, front panel by removing two screw, screws on the back and then lifting it off. I'm actually fixing the handle that was loose. I'm going to make sure I turn off the water supply and I unplug the machine. And then what I'm going to do is replace the valve. I removed the bottom kick panel. I just removed the insulation and I'm going to loosen the water supply coming into the inlet valve. And this is pretty easy to do if you've got the front panel removed. With the front panel in place, it's not much room, it's hard to do. So I'm pulling the supply line off, cleaning up a little water that spilled, and then I'm going to use, um, also I'm removing this little tube that brings water into the sump. Make sure you've got the machine all drained before you remove that tube, because otherwise a lot of water will leak out. I'm just doing that to get it at, get it out of the way to give me more room to work. Then I'll be removing two Torx 15 screws that are holding the valve in, into position into the frame. There's many other uh, methods to getting this done. This is probably the fastest and easiest because it doesn't require you removing the dishwasher from the cabinet. So now we pull the inlet valve toward us and there's a modular connector in the back and all you got to do is just grab it and pull it away it'll come right off and then there is a rubber tube bringing water to the dishwasher and it has a hose clamp you just take your pliers or vice grips make sure you crimp all the way down as tight as possible and then push that away from you Sometimes these are kind of stubborn, so take your time, really make sure you're pushing down tightly to get it away. And then it's just a matter of holding that tube really tight and then wiggling the inlet valve off. Make sure you don't pull on that tube away from the dishwasher, just grab it and wiggle it off. And then what we're going to do is take the brass um, elbow off by grabbing the inlet valve and then I'm using a wrench to turn that elbow off. I'm going to take some Teflon tape, plumbing tape, and I'm going to wrap it around the threads and then I'll screw that into the new valve and I'll get it nice and tight. I like to grab the valve assembly with the vice grips and then tighten it up with a crescent wrench. So I've got it all in position and then I'm just going to hook up the modular connector again and I'll hook up now the supply line. So I'm going to push that in super tight and then I'll put the little hose clamp back on. So just make sure your connections are nice and tight. So get those all on and Just making sure that the uh, hose clamp is on there. So I got the screws back in, got it locked into position. I'm testing it now before I put the panel on and the water level looks good. It is reaching at least halfway up onto the round filter handle so we know we have it right and we know now the water will heat and it will clean the dishes and it will melt the soap. It will do everything it's supposed to. We're just putting those uh, Torx 15 screws back in to hold it. And we'll put the kick panel back on and we'll put the uh, front panel back on. Turn the water back on, plug it in, and it's just going to work great. 
When I looked into the valve, I noticed that there was a lot of junk that got caught in there. That might have been why it wasn't able to bring enough water in. All right, so we're going to put the front panel back in. It's going to fit into these, these uh, little holes on the front. So I'm going to put it in, pull the door away from the dishwasher slightly, put it in a position, and then let it drop down by about half an inch. And then I'm going to tighten up two screws that are wood screws that go through the dishwasher and then into the wood to hold it on. So just tightening up those, I think they're Torx 15 also. So it's pretty common with uh, dishwashers, especially Bosch dishwashers, that the fill valve start having trouble. They don't let in enough water or they don't close and they, they flood the dishwasher because water just keeps coming in. But pretty easy to replace. So I'm now leveling the dishwasher with a standard head screwdriver, just making the legs go up a little so the dishwasher is lifted uh, further up into the cabinet. Hope this has been helpful to you and please subscribe to our channel when you get a chance.